In this video, we're going to be talking about using mathematical and logical operators with vectors. So we already talked about mathematical operations when we talked about regular numbers. We talked about addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, and raising something to the power of. However, when we're dealing with vectors, we have to be cautious when using these last three. And that's because MATLAB by default does matrix operations. And what I mean by that is anything dealing with matrix multiplication, like multiplication, division, which is just the inverse of multiplication, and raising something to the, to the power of, which is just multiplying something over and over again, it's automatically going to be trying to do matrix multiplication. And so an example of that is, let's say I had a vector and I multiplied that by another vector. So my vector on the left-hand side the dimensions of it are one by two. It has one row, two columns. And the vector on the right-hand side is also one by two. And in order to do matrix multiplication, these inner dimensions must be the same number. And so since they aren't in this case, this produces back an error. When MATLAB sees just this symbol alone, it assumes by default matrix operations. Now let's say we wanted to tell MATLAB, hey, I don't wanna do matrix. Um, operations, I want to do element by element multiplication. And by element by element, I mean I want to take the first number and multiply it by the first number of the other vector, the second number of this vector, and multiply it by the second number of that vector. So therefore, I would produce back a vector that the first number would be 6 and the second number would be 2. In order to tell MATLAB, hey, do element by element operations instead, I have to add a dot or a period in front of my multiplication sign. And so all of, so these last three here, these last three operations can also be written as dot multiply, dot divide, and dot caret. And so it's good practice, or just to keep things simple in your head, it's good practice to always use these. Unless you know for a fact that you want to do matrix operations, you can just use dot multiply, dot divide, and dot caret on everything. And this works for this works for just regular doubles as well. So if I try to do, uh, let's say, three dot multiply two, this is valid, and I'll just get back six. The main rule with element by element operations is that whatever you're doing the operations to, they have to be the same dimensions or one of them has to be length one or just one entity. And what I mean by that is, let's say I had two vectors, two, three, and I wanted to add that to three, four, five. So MATLAB is going to try to start doing this element by element addition and then it's going to see on this last one, oh, I, I don't really know what to do with that. So therefore, in this case, this, is produ this will produce back an error. And it'll be an error message saying something like, matrix dimensions must agree. So the thing on the left-hand side and the thing on the right-hand side have to be the same number of elements, the same dimensions. The other rule that I said is that one of them could be length one. And what I mean by that is, let's say I had the same example here. So I had three plus three, four, five, right? So I have a scalar on the left-hand side. A scalar is just one number. And I'm adding that to a vector of numbers. And this is fine because what's going to happen is MATLAB is going to add that number to each of the values inside of my vector. It's kind of like the distributive property. And so therefore, this is going to produce back the vector 6, 7, and 8. Logical operators by default are going to do element by element operations. We don't have to explicitly tell MATLAB to do element by element. So, for instance, we know when we're dealing with logical operators, we're always going to get back logical values. So if I had a vector 3, 4, and I said greater than the vector 6, 2. MATLAB is going to look at each element and, and do this comparison element by element. So the first thing it's going to look at, it's going to say, is 3 greater than 6? That's not true. So therefore, that produces back 
false of class logical. And then it's going to say, is four greater than two? That's true. So therefore, it's going to produce back a true, which is, which is class logical. And so we can also do this with all of our other logical operators like ands and ors. And so if I had a vector of trues and falses, so let's say I had, oh, change color. Let's say I had true, true, false, and I wanted to and that with false, true, false. So it's going to go element by element doing this and operation. So our first one here, so we have true and false. So true and false produces by, I'll write this down here. So true and false produces back false. And true and true produces back true. And false and false produces back false. 